All right, folks, <coughs> I'm here in Lake County, Florida, and we found a secret cache of Joe Biden's top secret documents. And let's go find it. Apparently, they must be scattering them all around trying to get rid of this evidence. But we, from the blog FiscalRangers.com, have found a new cache. And let's see what's in the box. They apparently tried to get rid of it by throwing it in our trash can. So let's look and see what we've got. This is the secret trash can that we found the evidence in. Lake County has been having a bad problem with their trash haulers picking up trash. So this has been sitting out for four days after the day it was supposed to be collected. But we're going to see what's in it. As the cars go by. And look, right there. It says top secret for Joe Biden only. It's, uh, we're going to flip cameras here. All right, so we're about to look inside the trash can and see what's in there from Joe Biden, top secret. And there it is, a whole box. And it says top secret for Joe Biden only. Let's see what's in it. Let's see if I can even open it. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look, a copy of Laura Loomer's book, Loomered that out of the way. You got a uh, less government, more unions t-shirt. Oh, another Laura Loomer artifact. Laura Loomer for Congress. That was here in Lake County, Florida. Oh, and we've got the Villagers for Trump t-shirt. This is all Joe Biden's secret, top secret box. And what else have we got here? Oh, 25 most common mistakes made in negotiating. Uh, in the small print there, I think it says, with the Chinese, with the Arabs, with Iraq, with Iran. Uh, it's too bad that he didn't watch this. He just kept it in his secret box. Oh, and then we know that his secret documents were by his Corvette, but he's a, really a closet Mustang fan. Because he's got the maintenance book here. And let's see what else Joe Biden has in his secret bo top secret box. Look at that. In Trump time with Peter Navarro. He was the advisor to Trump. He appears on the Bannon TV show all the time. Go, Peter. So, did that help Joe Biden? Did he read this? Oh no, we've got a t-shirt here. It's a DeSantis Land t-shirt, as in Ron DeSantis. Oh my golly. I guess he's waiting for when he's retired or when they edge him out. And here's one, this is a Heritage Action t-shirt. And then we got Purge Congress. This is an old one. A friend of mine started up in the villages, Florida. Florida. And uh, he apparently ordered one of these. Joe Biden's got quite a collection. Oh, and let's see here. We got the free money book. Only I think this says this by author by somebody from the Ukraine on how to get free money out of Joe Biden. And then we got War on Waste. That's uh, J. Peter Grace. That's when he did that uh, many years ago. I think, uh, I can't remember if it was Regan. Okay. So we got War on Waste. President's Private Sector Survey on Cost Control. Well, clearly Joe has not read this. And let's see. Ah. Uh, we got Glenn Beck's Common Sense. The case against an out-of-control government inspired by Thomas Paine. Well, clearly he hasn't read this book yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to pause while I lift this box out. Okay, we've unloaded the box from the trash can so we can get at 
what's left? Oh, look, Ann Coulter. If Democrats had any brains, they'd be Republicans. Well, clearly Joe hasn't read that book yet. The Enemies Within by Trevor Loudon. Ah, that's all the communists that are in the federal government. Hasn't read that because he's still got them. Trump surviving at the top. Well, I don't think Biden has read that book either. Ah, the whistleblower's handbook. This is what everybody ought to use to go after the federal government. Ah, oh, now here's one that he probably did read. Stealing elections. How voter fraud threatens our democracy. That must be on Joe Biden's top ten reading list. And... How to Lie with Statistics. Uh, I think he probably passed this out to every one of the federal agencies. Oh. And then Gobbledygook has got to go. I think that's used by his press secretary in the White House. Biden's press secretary. Oh. And Guardian of the Republic, Alan West. That's a good book. He should have read that. Yeah. And here's one. Represent yourself in court. I think that'll be really useful for you, Joe Biden. And creating a government that works better and costs less. National Performance Review. And look who is ran it. Al Gore. Well, I don't think that uh, Biden has read that either. No wonder it's top secret. He didn't want anybody to see it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Attracting birds and butterflies and backyard wildlife. You must be planning retirement. And a Playboy. Look at that. And this has got Suzanne Summers in it. Nude Playmate Test. I'm not going to open this up. February 1980. Joe, you've been keeping these from us. In Cold Sun by John Casey. Well, Casey is the one that first started talking to groups all over. I've got a video at FiscalRangers.com on uh, Fiscal Rangers on YouTube about John Casey m making a presentation on this. He was one of the first one people that I ever saw that was predicting the cold weather that we're getting because of the sun, solar sun cycle. And finally, Trevor Loudon again, White House Reds, Communist Socialists and Security Risks Running for President 2020. Well, look at that, and all those characters. Clearly he was hiding this, didn't want anybody to get it. And finally, a teddy bear that is from the U.S. Embassy Baghdad, Iraq. Funny thing, I was there too, but I didn't see him. All right, so you now have seen just, oh, look, this is all spread out just like the uh, Trump documents were that they made a big deal about. But this is the Biden top secret box. And it clearly is because it says it right there. So, folks, now you know, here's another cache of Joe Biden's top secret uh, evidence, signing out.